uh, if you want to get distinction in your first prof subjects then follow these tips first thing you have to read examiner's mind you think you come in the place of examiner and think uh, will you give marks to the person who write in paragraphs or will you give marks to the person who write concise way in a concise way as the examiners will be having hundreds of paper to correct in a day so they look at the papers which are short and good in presentation so make sure you write in points go for anatomy draw diagrams as much as possible even them should be having origin insertion nerve supply blood supply venous drainage all should be included in one diagram and if you draw the diagram you even don't have to write the answer whole answer try to draw simpler line diagrams covering all the points such as this if you have to show any compartment then mention about muscles nerves blood supply if you get vsq then uh, just to draw the diagram and leave it and for uh, short answers and for long answers don't try to write in paragraphs they won't see the number of lines they won't see the number of paragraphs what they see is have you written point to point or not just uh, see in biochemistry you have to draw cycles Do, uh, if you draw the cycle you don't even have to write the answer at all in cycle you mention all about the enzymes which are used and uh, mention about all the inhibitors see i have mentioned about inhibitors here itself and i have written even about the importance of each substrate over here if you write in this way you don't even have to write answer at all now is for etc for etc i have mentioned all the complexes in one diagram i have written all the inhibitors over here i have written all the products which are formed and then what all is liberated liberated and then uh, what is the mechanism which is operated over here so everything i have mentioned in one diagram so don't i don't even have to write the answer coming to physiology you just have to draw flow charts and write in concise way